Hi, I'm Miss Lathrop. I teach fourth grade at Stoutfield Elementary. We're here studying the flow of electricity in a simple circuit. So here's Mr. Crossland to get us started. Yay! Yay! Hey, thanks. Guys, that was a great introduction. You see, today we're going to be talking about how electricity flows through a circuit. And you have your worksheet, and we have a lot of things we're going to test and try out today. Uh, and we're going to probably do like three things. First of all, we're going to learn the parts of a circuit. And the word circuit is pretty interesting. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. We're going to take apart and look at the parts of a light bulb. And then we're going to talk about things that are conductors. They let the electricity flow through them. And we're going to talk about things that are insulators, the things that stop electricity from flowing. And then finally, you're going to make some circuits and test them and see how well you can make electricity flow through a circuit. Let's look at your uh, worksheet, and there's some vocabulary words right there on the worksheet. Okay, the first word you see there is circuit. Circuit. The next word is battery. Battery. And battery is the source. So go ahead and draw a line, underline battery and source on your worksheet together because the battery is the source. The next word that you see on your worksheet is path. Path. The path and the wire. Underline path and wire. Underline path and wire because the wire is the path. The next word you see is a hard word maybe. Appliance. Say appliance. Appliance. And the appliance we're going to do today is the bulb. Underline appliance and bulb. And finally, we have the word, repeat after me, insulator. Insulator. And conductor. And conductor. So those are the words we're going to use today. You think you'll be able to handle those words? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's look at the word circuit. Now, when I think of the word circuit, it reminds me, hmm, circuit. What does circuit sound like to you? Hmm. A, uh, what? Circus. A circus, yeah. And when you go to the circus, what's in the middle of the circus? A light bulb. In the middle of the circus? <laughs> there is a big ring. You ever heard of a three-ring circus? No. No? no. Where the ringmaster, ladies and gentlemen, now presenting the world's most famous flying trapeze in the middle ring. The way that it's called a circus because in the middle is a circle. What else does the word circuit sound like to you? I'm showing you with my body. What am I doing? Circle. I'm walking in a circle. So electricity, it's kind of important. The word circuit, I want you, and you might, circuit is like C-I-R-C-U-I-T. Circuit is like a circle, okay? So today, whenever we do anything with electricity, we want it to go around in a complete circle. Now, there are some special symbols on your paper. Take a look at your, your drawing right there. We have some circuits, and there's a big place that says simple circuit drawing. We're going to use some of those symbols to make a drawing. And let's start at the top with this thing right here. So at the top of your paper, where it says make a drawing, let's put a light bulb. Here is the symbol for a light bulb. If you look on your paper, it's round with this zigzag in the middle and a wire coming out. Go ahead and draw that at the top of your paper and write the word bulb. If you look on your paper, you'll see that we use connectors. They're like a little dot right here. So let's put a connector on each one of these. Would this light bulb light up just like that? No. no. We need some path or some wires. I'm going to put a wire down here like this, and I'm going to label that wire. Would the light bulb light up like this? No. What else do we need? Yes. Battery. A battery. And here's the symbol for a battery. It's kind of cool. Check it out. There's a long line, a short line, a long line, a short line. A plus and a minus. And we have to have a connector, so let's put a connector here and a connector here. And then write the word battery. B, 
A T T E R Y. Do you think the light will light up now? No. no. Look, why? Electricity's coming from the battery, it's going to the bulb. Is that a circle? No. No. no we need more paths. So let's put a wire here. <coughs> And let's put a wire here. Okay. Do you think it will light up now? No. Why? It's not closed. It's not, it's not closed. It is open right here, isn't it? It's open. We call this an open circuit. So we need to close it somehow. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a switch right here. See this right here? Mm -hmm. There's my switch. Go ahead and make yours look like this. What am I going to have to do to make this light up? Yes, sir. Connect it. Connect it or close the switch. So I don't have an open switch. I want to have a closed switch, which goes like this. Ding, 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 ding. And when that happens, guess what? The light bulb gets hot and it lights up and it gives off light and maybe some heat. So that is a complete simple circuit. This is a simple circuit. And it will light up. Let's follow it around one more time. Ready? <coughs> From the battery, through the bulb, out the bulb, across the switch, back to the battery, and we have light. Make yours just like this. Okay, let's look at some of these parts of a simple circuit up close, all right? So I brought a collection of different batteries. See, batteries come in all different sizes. And this is stored chemical energy. Inside of a battery are chemicals. And these chemicals, when you touch one of the two terminals, those chemical reactions start and electricity starts to flow. And so a battery, when you look at your batteries today, they come in different sizes and different strengths. But each battery has a plus side and a minus side. Or even right here on this battery, it has a plus and a minus, even though the terminals are at the top. And this battery here has a plus and a minus. And that's even, I guess this is a, a triple A, and there's a double A. And even this battery right here has two different sides to it. It has a plus on that side and a minus on that side. This is called a wafer battery, different sizes. Batteries come in all sizes and all shapes. This one is three volts. And this one is a volt and a half. So this one is twice as much as this one. And this one is a nine volt battery. So it's worth a lot more volts than some of these other. So a battery, comes in different shapes and different sizes. Now, one thing I don't want you to do is we talked about conductors. A conductor is something that lets electricity flow through it. So metal is usually a conductor. You don't want to put, this is called a short circuit, especially this week and next week, you don't want to do this. Short circuit is when you just put a conductor from one side of the battery to the next. That just heats it up and it ruins the battery and it could burn your fingers. So you always want to use an appliance, an appliance through that. And I have some appliances. I have some light bulbs. Now light bulbs come in all different shapes. Here are some really, you're going to be using some of these today. These are LED light bulbs. Ooh. They're kind of the new thing in light bulbs. LED light bulbs, this is an LED light bulb inside of a flashlight we're going to take apart. This is an incandescent light. We're going we're gonna to draw this. That's kind of hard to see, isn't it? No. Well, I got a bigger you one. You are right in front of it. But, but here, is, here is, this one's kind of hard to see. Well, let's see, I got a bigger one. Ooh. That one is getting easier to see. Uh, well, let's see. This one, I get bigger. But you know what? I brought a really big one this time. Wow. Whoa. That this is, is a big light bulb. <laughs> Fit that inside a house. Well, this one goes outside like on a big tower by a football field or by a parking lot. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And, but it has the same parts. Now, Thomas Edison did a lot of work trying to find, invent light bulbs and electrical lights. 
And this one's even easier to see. This one is easier to see. That's why I have it. And we're going to make a drawing of a light bulb, all of the main parts of it. So you can pass this around. You can pass these around. Just don't drop them because they're made out of glass. What about this one? This one is another LED light. Oh, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. Just don't drop them. And if they come on, let me know. Will they come on by themselves? No. <laughs> Here's someone can look at this one. Here. There you go. Here's these here. Yeah. But not okay. heavy. And one more. This one right here. Okay. Take a look at those light bulbs. Okay. And now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and draw a few of those. Okay. Let's step. Look on your worksheet. Over on the right side, it says light bulb drawing. And so, I'd like us to draw a light bulb. Ready? So here's what it is. Take a look. We looked at the light bulb, and you go ahead and draw one. First of all, the light bulb has this part right here at the bottom of it. And this is where it screws into a receptacle, usually. And this is actually made out of metal. Metal. And do you think metal is a conductor or an insulator? Does the lead electricity go through it or does it stop? What do you think? Conductor. It's a conductor. I'm going to put C underneath it. <coughs> Go ahead and draw that part of the light bulb. All right. <laughs> Next, we have this part right here that's made out of black glass. Okay. So that's glass. Do you think glass is a conductor or an insulator? What do you think? <coughs> Glass, a conductor or an insulator? insulator? Insulator, you're absolutely right. Glass, I'm going to put the letter I under it. And then at the very bottom of that light bulb is a metal piece like this. It's metal. And is metal a conductor or an insulator? It is a conductor, right. Okay, how are we doing in our drawing? So far? Hey, what's on the outside of the light bulb at the top? The, the glass part that comes around here like this. Let me take a look at that big light bulb again. Would you hand that big light bulb to me? Let's see here. How are we doing so far? Okay, so, so far we have this metal part right here. Can you see that? And we have the glass part. And then another metal part at the bottom. And we have the glass bulb. So, so far, your drawing is looking pretty good, I think. Uh, this is the fun part. I don't know if you can see this, but there are two things coming up inside of the light bulb. Two different things. So, let's check this out. Here we go. Here's our first one. It actually, I'm going to make a dotted line here. Dot, 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 because it comes from the very bottom. And it goes up like that. You see that one right there? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. And now this one, the other side comes down here like this and is stuck to the side right here. That's kind of cool. Oh, let me ask you a question. If the electricity comes in from the bottom right here, here comes electricity in here. Electricity comes in through the bottom, goes up, Will the light light up? What's missing? The thing. The, the light. The, well, look, the electricity comes out this way. It comes out through the side. But what's missing? Yes. The thing in the middle, right? This little spring in the middle. I'm going to use purple to show you that one. Thomas Edison spent a lot of time trying to find out what material could go across here and when it gets electricity going through it, you know what it does? It gets hot, <coughs> electricity goes through it, it gets hot and gives off light. And there's a name for that. That is called <coughs> the filament. Filament. <laughs> filament. <laughs> That's the part that gets hot and glows on a light bulb. But look, electricity has to come in, 
go up, go out, just like a circuit. Go ahead and make your drawing that has the parts that you see right here. Okay, so you now have your light bulb and your battery. See if you can make it light up. Follow your diagram and see if you can get the light bulb to light up. Would someone turn off the lights in the back of the room? Maybe we can get our own light. See if you guys can, can anybody do it? Turn the rest of them off. Anybody got light? Oh, where? Show me. Oh, there's one. You got it? My won't work. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Put it up by your face. Let's get some light by your face. Yeah, cool. Nice. Can everybody get it? Keep doing it. I did it. Okay, so you guys had some success with hooking up one side of the light bulb to one part of the battery and the other side to the other and we have a complete circuit, right? Mm -hmm. So we talked about insulators and conductors. Watch this. What if I put the bottom of this battery on the plastic chair and pushed it to the bottom? Did it light up? Mm -mm. No. So plastic must be a insulator. Let's see if I put it right here on my metal part of the chair and I'll touch this part up here what happens it lights up so the metal part must be a conductor okay let's try one more thing let me move this chair down I saw a pair of scissors right here let's take these scissors hold these for me and let's use the plastic part of the scissors what do you think predict is the plastic going to be a conductor or an insulator? Insulator. Or you don't know? Let's find out. Ready? Wait. They don't know yet. Touch, touch, and nothing. What about the metal? Try what about the metal? Part. You think the metal will, part? Yeah. Okay, here. You, you try it. Put it on. I'll hold it right here. Touch metal from one end. Open it up and touch the other end. Help me. Close the scissors. Wow. The metal works. I'll tell you what, look around your room, find things that are conductors and insulators, but don't do anything like electric circuits or switches, okay? That's 110 volts coming out of the wall and that could hurt you. But you can try anything else like your desk, your pencil. Oh, let me see that pencil right there. What do you think of pencil? The, I tried the metal part. I don't yeah, think the, metal part. Part. the metal part. The metal part? Okay, touch it to the side there. What do you think? It lights up. <gasps> it lights up. Uh -oh. Let's, let's do the eraser. What about the eraser? No. Nah. What about the wood? No. Let's try. It's a big one. No. No. So, what about the wood? on your paper right here, check it out. On your paper right here, where it says conductors and insulators, conductors, we can say metal. We can say the metal chair. We can say the metal scissors, right? Mm hmm Yeah. And insulators so far have been wood, right? Plastic, the eraser, anything else that's a conductor oh, or insulator? What about the glass? Glass? I wonder if you can put two batteries, like two metal pieces yeah. into different batteries. You can. They work it. If you do two batteries, it's going to double the volts, but they have to be put together in a certain way. How do you do Positive that? to negative. You don't put positive to positive, and you don't put negative to negative. It always has to be positive to negative. Now you got twice as much battery power. Look, I'm gonna see it light up. Well, I'll tell it, you what, what you guys works? try to find things in your desk around the room that are conductors and things that are insulators. Up to there and then hold tape, my finger right tape. onto this. Yeah. Then it light it right up and I right connect it. Now it's not wanting to do it. And so that's the metal part of the stapler and you get it to light up? Yeah. yeah. Show me. Where's the trash can? Okay, now it's going to work. Nice, nice. Oh, what do you got over here? The tape. The, the metal part of the tape. Did this work for you? I saw that light up. There it is. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Yep, it does work. Cherish. Going on we have the Chromebook lock for the Chromebook cart because it's metal, so it's making it light hey, up. What about your watch? Ooh, let's and try your it. Ring. Can you what help about me? your ring? What's the metal part? Let's try it right there. The gold part. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, but you gotta touch the battery back to it, remember? Okay, now put the light bulb to the battery, to the end. Kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. Can you hook it to the end? No, I don't think. You guys need another hand. We need more hands. Brandy, you wanna jump in here and see if we can get it? Nice, so your, the metal in your watch works. Very cool. Can you help me? Here. Put it to the battery. This works. Just turn it like this. That way you can touch it better. What? There we go. Good, good hard work. Good job. And so, what do you have it working on? My metal. Your metal, which is made out of, looks like copper. And so, copper must be a good conductor. Nice job. So, as you can see, these students have found a lot of things in the room that are conductors and a lot of things that are insulators. Okay, so you just had a chance to go through the room, and let's make a list of some things that were conductors. And that meant that, that there was yes to flow. And then there were some things that are insulators, right? And that was a no flow. And can we make a list? On You write them on your paper. What are some things that it lit up? Yes. The metal on the scissors, right? And what part did not work on the scissors? The plastic. Okay. What about that? Co someone had a copper metal, right? Copper metal. That worked. What about the wood pencil? Did that work? No. What about the metal on the pencil? Did that work? Yeah. Okay. And what about glass? The glass? What's glass? Insulator or conductor? Insulator. Right. And what about what about eraser? The eraser. Conductor or insulator? Insulator. Okay. So a lot of these things. Oh, uh, uh, someone used their ring, gold ring. The gold ring was a Conductor, silver, conductor. What, what about your fingers? Your finger a conductor? No. Usually not. So your skin, if it's dry, skin that's dry, no. Okay. All right, so finish writing that, and we're going to do our next project. Okay, so those light bulbs were incandescent light bulbs, but the lights of the future are called LEDs. Everybody say LED. LED! That stands for light emitting diode, which is a fancy word for an LED. But you see these more and more because they don't use a lot of electricity. So you have one right here. And I push the button, unless there's a switch in there. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this apart and see how it works. And watch how I do this. So you have, this is plastic, and plastic is a I'm going to cut the bottom off with my scissors, okay, and as soon as I cut the bottom off, I'm going to, that's plastic, I'm going to peel this part up, I'm going to peel that part off, I'm going to, yeah, so we're going to save this plastic, let's see if it still works, listen, still works, now, it is kind of bright. It also has some plastic on the side. Let's take the next job we're going to do is take, whoops, take the piece of plastic There's off. There is a magnet in there. We're going to get out in just a second. I'll take this piece of plastic off, save the parts. Here is my magnet. Now, the magnet is just a part that you can have or keep. Don't swallow the magnet or take it home to your little brother and sister because it's a really strong magnet. But it is, uh, it could be dangerous if someone swallows it. So you don't want to let anybody play with this. And it might be a conductor. I don't know. You have to test it. But let's see if this still works. I took one piece of plastic off and the magnet. Ready? 
Still works. Hmm. Let's take the other piece of plastic off the other side and see what happens. Remember, the plastic is an insulator. Oh, there's a piece of cardboard and some tape. I'm going to take that off. And now let's see if this thing will still work. Ah, it will still work. Now, now we're getting down to the parts of this. Okay, I don't need the foam. Will it still work? Yep. You're killing the light. I know, I'm killing the flash light. <laughs> this part, don't get your fingers cut. If you get cut, you're in trouble. Why? I don't know. Double label boy. Yeah, yeah, you won't die. Uh, Not today. It takes three or four days. <laughs> I'm teasing. Okay, so now, oh, I found the switch. Here's the switch. It's a small little piece of metal. Look, you see this little metal? And when I push, And when I push down on it, it pops in the middle, so I can push down on it and listen. <laughs> there's the switch, but here's the parts. Okay, I don't see any wire. What happened to my wire? Let's see, I need to find the wire, the bulb, and the battery. You found the batteries? Yeah, there's two batteries. Look, there's two batteries, and they're three volt batteries. Hmm. So it goes from negative to positive to negative to positive, but where's the wire? In the middle. The metal is the wire, right? Okay, and now where are the bulbs? Uh, on the top. So how am I going to make this circuit work? Mm. I got to connect that to that. Let's we'll see if it works. Ready? Yep. And uh, look at that. It's bright. It's bright. Now that's because it's two batteries. If I just hook to one battery, will it work? Yes. Yeah. But that's only one battery. Is it bright? Yeah. No. no. Compared to this one, compared to that one. Yeah. That's wow. Make one brighter than one less. See, this one's only three volts getting split by two six. lights. This one is six volts. That's three on each. Three on each. And this is only one and a half on each. See the difference? Mm -hmm. yeah. You think you guys could take apart, study the parts, and relight your bulb? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Who knows? You might want to Are invent. You put it back together. Well, no, you're going to keep it. You, you might want to make the very first e light scissors. Woo. I don't know. Maybe you want to do that. I don't light know. Light scissors? <laughs> what if you have to cut something at night? Oh, that'd be bad. It'd be mm. bad. It'd be good, wouldn't it? Scissors. If you need that, I lighted scissors. Yeah, lighted scissors. Why? I don't know. Okay, a lighted pencil. What if you want to write your teacher a letter at night and it's dark? You'd have to have a lighted pencil. Oh my God. Like that. It works. Oh, that's what, what you mean. mean. Yeah, that's what, what I mean. Do what we can do is say, um, um, put it on the book so you can read it. I didn't oh, know what you meant. I'd like take that together and then put the pencil right through it. Well, why yeah. don't you do that? In fact, why don't you all go back, deconstruct, <gasps> identify the parts, what? and put them back together. Can we put it? You better. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Don't get hurt. Yeah. Don't get poked. I'm keep the and I'm make right the now, circuit yeah. complete. I'm going to keep This has been a really great lesson with Mr. Croslin talking about the flow of electricity in a simple circuit. It's actually been very enlightening.